Sports. We are in Anaheim, California. It's duck country, and we are about to drop the puck on tonight's action. A lot of bounce on both blue lines here, and we are about set to drop the puck here at center. The Ducks get off to a good start as they win the opening faceoff. Along the half wall with the puck, and he's knocked off the puck there. Zuccarello's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Shuts him down. Puck moved over to Johns. Here they come. Fill the left side on the attack. Stopped by the goaltender. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. The Ducks win that offensive zone faceoff. No room for that one to get through. Quick pass to Enroth. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Moves it to Kaprizov. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Enroth. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Handles the pass. Puck grab by Boldy. A little bumping around. They score! And a quick goal here in the first by the road team has changed the momentum quickly. Well, yeah, a quick goal, quick strike, and that's exactly what you want to do when you're on the road. You want to set the tone early. You want to take the life out of the fans. Locked in goaltenders today, they drop into the butterfly as a default position and make themselves as big as possible. Idea being, you want to take away as much of the net as you can. There's a lot of bodies in front, so a smart shot. He can't find it, and it finds its way to the back of the net. Minnesota's got the game's first goal here in the first, and perfect road approach, right? Silence the crowd, Cheryl. Well, yeah, and you gotta start with some energy, and you gotta get your lines into the game right away, and that's exactly what they did. They were like a wave of momentum, and they capitalize on their opportunity. Great read with the stick. Anaheim's looking to break out. And the puck's kicked free. Picked off. The Ducks gain possession along the wall. And that's broken up. And it's a quick pass to Brink. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Here they come up along the wing. And he slides it quickly to Boldy. Blocked in traffic. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Takes a shot. Turned aside with the glove. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. More than half the period left to play. one nothing is where we sit at this point. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. There's a chance in front. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Nash is stick handling in his own zone. And a smart heads up play with the bank. Powers going to play it against the half wall. Slides it over with pace to Minchikov. And that's deflected. Anaheim's got the puck against the half wall. Denied that one. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Pokes the puck away. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck now. The Ducks work it through center. Big open ice hit. You want to send a message to your opponent early in the game, and that early delivery of a bone-crushing hit, that does just that. Sends the pass over. Puts it in deep. The Ducks gain control of the puck against the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Niederreiter. Minnesota's been working hard away from the puck, and they're using their awareness to take away angles and seams. And this is something they're doing with their stick positioning. Coach talked about it pregame, how important it was going to be. Here they come on the attack. Absolutely fearless to step in front of that shot. Here's a short pass to Johns. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. All along. Tangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. And these 
Spurs are still buzzing about what we just saw. What a save that was, Cheryl. Yeah, he made an incredible save and really engaged this fan base. They're on their feet. You know they're right into the game. And listen, when they are showing you that kind of appreciation, you also want to play for them. And a great save. Well, he's so fast, he's strong, he's got incredible balance. And these are different layers to his game when you combine it with the way and speed of which he can move. Man, he's so dangerous. The Ducks have it now. Works it across to Niskanen. Handles it along the blue line. Quick feed to Darlene. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Sends it out in front. Couldn't complete the pass. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Quick pass to Boldy. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Takes the feed from off the wing. He's got a step. Score! And the kid has his first in the NHL. Oh, that's got to feel so good. You always want to feel like you're contributing and you want to give a lasting impression, especially when you're new. This is a moment you won't forget. They say practice makes perfect, James, and he's executing in the game because of it. I mean, look at the way he can move in tight spaces. He's got hands that can just dangle. And when he finds the back of the net, his opponent's just kind of looking at him. There it goes again. Well, a special moment as he finally picks up his first career goal here in the show. His heart must be pumping. Oh, it'll be pumping. It'll be a thud in James because that's his first goal. And you know what? There are impact moments in an athlete's career, and this can be one of them, just to give you the confidence to know that you can compete, that you can contribute at this level. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Moves it over to Mitchell, and they cough it up at center. Beats it over! Oh, my goodness, it's stayed out! What a save! It was all but in James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. A goaltender, they have to have talent, they have to have mobility, they have to be able to track the puck, but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot, and that's exactly what happens here. Out battling, out willing, and you make the save. Here in the late goings of the period, we got a tie game. Anaheim's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Wallstead. What a save from point blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position, square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Slides it across. Big time stop. Slides the puck ahead to Hartman. And he takes the pass. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Minchikov. Oh, my! Stop! He scores! It looked like he had made the save, but that's in the back of the net for a goal. They can't blame the goalie on this one who's tracking the puck, and then all of a sudden it changes direction because it deflects off of a defender in front. Real tough puck luck. The Wild have put themselves in front by a goal here in the first. Well, yeah, there's too much game left here to just sit back and, and play with that lead, James. It's not cozy or comfy enough. they got to find a way to push for more. Anaheim's won the draw. The Ducks looking against the half wall. The Wild have the puck in their own end. Oh, that'll make them think twice about going into the corner after that collision. The Ducks will play from the defensive zone. Handles the pass at center. The Ducks play it along the boards. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Takes the feed. First period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. We 
in the final moments of this period. Minnesota's got the momentum with a one goal lead. They'd love to add to that. Richards wins the face off in his own end. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Moves it to the middle. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Uh, he's showing off his skill set, trying to make a silky move around the defender, but he gets it's denied. Saved just as time runs out. Both teams getting a good sweat on after this first period. We've got lots more in store. And we're coming back with a clean sheet of ice next. Join us for our next team practice, which will be open to the public. And this is with all Well, hopefully everybody's refreshed after the intermission. We are ready to go for period number two. Both teams seem to be recharged and play is underway here in period number two. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. The Ducks are trailing in the game by one, James, and that's tough. It can be deflating when you hold the majority of the possession. They're going to need to convert that possession if they want to get back in this game. Moves it to Michael. Here they are on the attack. Takes the puck. And that's intercepted by Zuccarello. Erickson X carrying it ahead. Takes a bump but hangs on. Makes his presence known on the ice. Champions falling to the ice, James, and he still has the capacity and the wherewithal to understand exactly where everyone is on the ice. I mean, that's an effective distributor to be able to get that pass off. Made the stop on the play. Minnesota's got it behind the net. Here they come. Takes the feet at the back end. Oh, what a club save there! Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Minnesota's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Passes it over. Stop the knows he has a point streak going here and when the puck's on your stick and you're feeling that confident you direct everything to the net and sometimes you get lucky and sometimes it's just skill the Ducks will go to work here in the offensive zone puck picked up by Niskanen sends it over to Richards big hit and that frees up possession Anaheim's got the puck in their own end the Ducks play it along the wing and that's a great read to force the turnover. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Scores! And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now is on the line. Minnesota's gone up by one here in the second period. Well, it's been a lot of hard work and heavy lifting to get to this point, just to get that one goal lead, James. Not only do they want to hold on to it, they want to extend it now. The Ducks win the draw here in the neutral zone. Anaheim's on the attack. Dishes it off. And that's knocked away. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Play rolls on. Takes the feed at the point. 
Feeds it over. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Grabbed along the boards by Mitchell. Quick shot, and he stands tall in goal. Cross ice pass to Mitchell. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Goalie with the stop. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Minnesota's been the better looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one goal lead. They win the draw and go on the attack. Lays out to get that one blocked. Covers it up, we'll get a stoppage in play. Nash is in a lot of pain here, James, as he's trying to make his way back to the bench. He was injured somewhere in the shift, showing his passion to try and stay committed to the play, but he's got to get off. Centers are lined up, and we are ready to resume. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And he costs it over the pass. Minnesota's been excellent tonight, James. They found ways to work hard on and off of the puck. And when they're away from it, they've really done a great job of being in good position to be able to take away lanes and angles, seams, you name it. But it has to translate to something. This is still a close game. Moves the puck up to Niederreiter. And now he moves it quickly to Johansson. And that's a great hits up play in the offensive zone. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. And he takes the feed. Hollandville's got it against the boards. And the puck skips away after that move. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. And he loses control here. Pinned up along the boards. And a heads-up kick pass over to his teammate. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Into the corner of the attacking area. The Ducks move the puck in the defensive zone. Broken up in the neutral zone by Kaprizov. Zuccarello's got it along the wing. The Ducks get a hold of the puck in their own end. And he takes the feed. A chance in front! Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Walstead. By the way, if you couldn't make it down to the rink tonight, here's what they were giving away as a team promotion here. A souvenir collectible puck. And uh, these were nice. And you know what? There were a lot of fans lined up outside the gates uh, before they actually opened the doors, uh, all making sure that they were going to be here on time to make sure they got that free souvenir. So nicely done. I'm told they are also selling some of these online if you want to get one. Let's go! Here's 
a chance. Oh, there's one more. Lee's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in. He's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time his team starts working in front of him. Here in the late goings of the period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Hollas won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Gets the puck in deep. The Ducks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Powers taking it from his own end. With possession along the wall. Floats the saucer pass. Cut into the club by Austin. On this save, it looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot, and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it, you got to be fast, you got to be quick, and show those reflexes. He does that and makes the save. Anaheim's got it, and they're on the attack. Great stop by Walston. Slides it across. Denied by the defender. Nice block. Quick feed to Holla. Less than a minute to go here in the second. He says, let's get physical on that play. Look out, here they come on the attack. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Sends a pass over. <laughs> 40 minutes of play in the books. Both teams will get one last chance to catch their breath, and then it's on to period number three next. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. We've had a great battle tonight through the first 40 minutes. Let's see if it continues here in the third. Oh, he saved it! What a stop! Now, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Stoppage in play as the puck goes up and over. We'll get a face-off. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. We're still in the early stages of this period. It's all tied up. Off the face, off, they take the puck. Won the defensive zone draw. Quick pass to Halla. Pokes the puck away. Anaheim's got possession here in the neutral zone. Scrum ensues along the boards. Poked away in the neutral zone. Moves it to Enron. Good stand up hit on the play. Here's a chance. Club save.
Lots of time left in this period. We are all tied up in this one. Anaheim's won it, now they'll go on the attack. The score! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you gotta get the right one, and that one is in his favor. The Ducks with a huge goal here in this third period. Now buckle up and can they hang on? Uh, I think it's more than hanging on, James. They've got to continue to attack and they've got to manage the puck. I mean, yes, it's the third period. There's a lot of runway left here. It's only a one-goal game. Puck is picked up here in the neutral ice by Mitchell. Shot! Stops him with a glove! I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James, but man, he flashed the leather. He made the save, no rebound to boot. Anaheim's got the lead early in the third period. They have been the far busier team offensively tonight. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Ducks are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. Comes in off the wing as both centers were tied up on the draw. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Middleton's got the puck in his own zone. Steps across the blue line. Slides it diagonally to Middleton. Glove save, and he made it look simple. Crisp's gonna hang on for a whistle. Anaheim's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. Michaels won it off the faceoff. Slides the puck across to champion. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing in your PK. The Ducks get their man advantage in it out there for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice to set up the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. Drum along the wall. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Great reach with the poke check. Can't keep a hold of it. Here's the pass. The shot. Oh, look at this. He's got a little jump. What a stop on the breakaway. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Minchikov's got it in the offensive zone. Back at the point, they set it up. Stopped by the goaltender. That's what we call a ready goalie, James. Ready for anything. The pass across and to be able to steal one. Score! Here it is. A power play goal. You know he's worked a lot on this in practice because his hands are an extension of his body here, James. He knows how to manipulate his opponent. He dangles his way to the net. And he doesn't miss. Anaheim's been on a roll all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. Michaels gained possession inside the neutral zone. And that's poked away by Mitchell. The Ducks pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. And he slides it quickly to Johns. Enros moving the puck through his own zone. Slides the pass over to Champion. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Here's a pass in front. And that doesn't go as it's off a stick. Moves it quickly over to Zuccarello. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. Nearing the midway mark of the period. 
The Ducks have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Richards has got possession. Let's see what they can do with it now. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Mitchell. Takes the pass. Oh, look at this. Shuts him down. Chris has been off his game tonight, really shaky in the crease, and his team has really bailed him out. They found a way to generate offense. Sometimes that's the way it goes, but he's got to settle in and make those saves. Handles the puck. Well, this game is wild, James. End-to-end -end action. Let's just forget the defense, shall we, and just go with the goal calls. Hammers the shot! And that carries off one of his teammates in front. Here's a short pass to Richards. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Walstead. The Ducks will play it in their own end. Shot. Way too much congestion blocks that. Receives the pass. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Slides the puck down low. How did he stop? More than half the frame has been played here. Anaheim's got all sorts of content for the highlight shows tonight. They lead at 5-3. The Ducks win the draw. Tosses it to Brink. That's a solid check on the play. Feeds the puck across to Hartman. Excellent stick work on the play. Takes the feed from the left side. And he keeps possession. Scooped up along the wall by Brink. A centery chance! And that Karen's off a twig in front of the net. Angles it over to Darlene. Oh, answers back with the stop on the one-timer! Picked up along the boards by Darlene. Now a quick pass to Michael. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Nice dish from the left wing. From the point, they take control of it. Scores! And a quick strike here puts the right back into this one. Well, the game opens up here now, James, as they're within one. And if they can continue this press, they can get the equalizer. you got to believe that they can do it right now as you feel the momentum shift. Well, there's no question that this is a hard shot and it's a quick release, but I just found that the goaltender was there. He just didn't catch the buck as it just squeaks by underneath the glove. Minnesota's goal has suddenly tightened the gap here in period number three. Well, they're within one, James, and it's not enough right now, so they're going to have to continue to counter, transition quickly, but most importantly, retrieve the puck. That is critical to be able to possess it. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Moves the puck. The Ducks look to start the transition game. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. And he takes the dish. Great save by Walston. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. The Blue Jackets are up next on the schedule here on this homestand. And you know, I'll tell you what, you talk about traveling fan bases. They have one of them. So if there's tickets still out there, you better jump on them before it's filled by a rival opponent. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. stages of this period. Minnesota's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. Pass to Coyle. Poked away by Power. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. Minnesota's got it in the neutral zone. Situation critical as we approach the final minute of the third. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Anaheim's going to start with the puck in their own end. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Silverberg. 
And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Takes the feed. Bufflin's lugging the puck. Goaltender has made his way to the bench. He scores into the empty net. And that should probably wrap this one up. Yeah, it will. It'll seal the deal, James. The insurance marker and a lot of fun as well. Goal scoring is fun. Doesn't matter how it goes in, even if it is an empty net. I just love watching the puck on his stick, James. It's like it's on his string. He just knows exactly where he's going to move his opponent to. And then he finds his way to the net. Anaheim's empty net goal has pretty much widened the gap to a point where this should be elementary from here on in. Yeah, that should do it. I mean, they put themselves in this position, right? They got the lead late in the game, and they found a way to finish it off. But man, oh man, that was a really nice play to convert on the empty netter. Tried to make a move, and the puck hops away. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle, and it dies on his stick. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Oh, looks like he had the corner, but he puts it off the side of the net. And the crowd's on their feet, saluting the team after a hard-fought effort this evening. Handles it again. Big save right at the end. And that's all she wrote from this one here tonight. Well, after this one, partner, can we call this a heater now? Can't wait either. So we'll see you next time. And we'll see you next time.